Please welcome Heba Gweeb, BMW Foundation, Herbert Quant. Hello. 91% of the plastic that lands on our landfills and nature is not being recycled. So it's very important not only to talk about plastic waste, but about recycling. The upcoming biotech, um, green biotech startup company I want to present to you is having an innovative solution for that. With a microbe cocktail, bacteria um, re um, reconverting the carbon within plastics into um, our nature, we have a very good solution for that. And this is how the startup I'm going to present to you allows major producers and consumers to limit their environmental impact and to contribute to a more uh, circular and sustainable future. Polyloop responds by providing a method that is capable of biodegrading a wide array of plastics packaging waste. My name is Heba Agib. I'm the chief executive of Respond at the BMW Foundation, and I'm very excited to introduce to you Liz Madras Polyloop. Breaking the wall of plastic waste. Madras Polyloop. Uh, okay, uh, this was not my last slide, but I, I will work with it. So, if, would you still take that 10-minute nap if the price to pay was seven weeks of staying awake straight? No, even the proposition is crazy. The effects on your health would be detrimental. And we do something very similar to our planet. We use plastic, which is super disposable, and it has detrimental effects on our planet, which last 100 years. When we saw what plastic was doing to our planet, we decided to co-fund Polyloop to find a solution with which we can work through this issue. We worked on a bio cocktail of bacteria that is capable of utilizing plastic as a food source. We've been working on this since 2019, and quite fast we saw that we have a, a great solution that is capable of biodegrading a wide array of plastics in a couple of weeks' time. We recognize that this is a black box solution because both plastic and biological systems are quite complex. So we decided to fundraise. And this fundraising allows us to be able to explore what is inside this black box. We use gas chromatography to detect reaction intermediates and end products. We use uh, LCMS to detect the enzymes that are capable of cleaving the polymer chain. And this also allows us to develop new products where the plastic can be turned into plastic, not biomass. We also use ATR, FDIR to detect the polymer changes that are happening when they meet our bacteria. And of course, we measure bacterial cell vi viability and carbon dioxide to monitor the degradation process. In this picture, you see PVC, a very, very common pollutant and a very rarely recycled polymer that is being converted into biomass. Why go through all this trouble when we have recycling? Yes, we do have recycling, but by now we all know that our recycling system is broken. It's quite limited to two plastics, and it covers a staggering 2 to 4% globally, and we had dozens of years to fix it. And not only does it not cover most plastics, it seldom covers additives that are also inside the plastics, and we mustn't forget it. Our vision at Polyloop is to end recycling and bring most plastics higher up into the waste management hierarchy, where not only the plastic polymer, but every additive is taken care of. And we plan to do it with a biological system. There are several questions we have to ask, us, ask ourselves. Is this technology scalable? Does the science work on as many plastics as we have tested? And will this change how we view plastic waste? Very good questions. For us to answer this, we have to patent again and go for a 
go on public forums to bring scientists together to be able to work on this solution and answer the questions that we still have. Now I would like to give the floor to your questions so that we can start the discussion. You made it faster. We have to keep distance, obviously. We oh. make it faster than uh, I thought. You, you still had a minute, but it's okay. I was, you, I was so thrown no, off. No, you are on it. That's fantastic. So no. let us see the questions we have here from the audience, but also from online. So in case you have a question, you raise your question mark or a comment, please. Ex exclamation mark is also good. So anyone who wants to start? Yes, here we have a question, please. Please, uh, hold on. We have a host coming with a microphone, which is obviously disinfected. Please keep your mask on and articulate strongly what you're saying. And then I will take this second question by front. Can we have someone for the microphone here at the front? Thank you very much. Yeah. There. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I know it's proprietary, but I wonder if you can talk a little bit about the stability and scalability mm -hmm. of the community of cultures that, or mm -hmm. bacteria that you're using. Thank you for your question. Um, so while we are working with bacteria currently, the end goal is to be able to work with the pure enzymes that are inside the bacteria or that are secreted by the bacteria. This would allow us not only to control the process better and have our IP be stronger, but to also convert the plastic back into virgin quality uh, plastic at the end of the day. Uh, while we do recognize that there is genetic instability with how bacterial cultures are, are developing within themselves. We always go to the, the strains, the master culture that we have, that we are maintaining to be able to have the same results. But as, as I mentioned, the, the key here is to also find the enzymes that are responsible for it. Okay, the question of Frank, please. And then. You didn't talk that much about the end product. Well, for what can you use the end product? And how does the end mm -hmm. product looks like? And maybe if I can ask the second question is, uh, <coughs> what is about the, the, the biosafety of, mm -hmm. of the, the bacterial, especially when, when you are talking about waste here? Mm -hmm. What is left of the bacterial in the end product? Yes, thank you for your question. I, was, I did want to talk about it, but I was thrown off a bit because these weren't my last slides, so I couldn't just you know, uh, maintain the flow that I wanted to. Uh, currently, the end product is a biomass. Essentially, bacteria eat plastic to make more of themselves. Uh, the bacteria are at the biosafety level one, so they're not pathogenic to, to humans at all or to other uh, mammals. Um, uh, and the, the biomass can then be converted into what biomass can be converted into uh, with, uh, with other technologies. What we are focusing on mostly is how to get the science right at the beginning. So how is plastic disappearing? What are the, uh, what are the biochemical uh, reactions happening inside the bacteria that make them able, be able to actually metabolize the plastic components? Um, and in the end, the, the biomass can be either used as a soil conditioner or upscaled into different products like uh, methane, but we are currently not focusing on that. And we want our end product, again, to be pure uh, plastic constituents to be able to uh, close the full recycling loop with the enzymes. We have 40 seconds left, okay. so in case we take a very, very last question. Sorry, the gentleman here in the back was the first one. I'm sorry for that. You have 30 seconds. No, you want to take your question back? Okay, so um, 24 seconds. Can we? I think. How are you going to commercialize? Yes, please. Uh, so in the beginning, we are looking to work together with uh, pr producers that have a lot of uh, plastic packaging wa waste on site. This allows us two things, to be able to have a very controlled waste stream, which is already clean and we can process it on site. And this allows us to generate income sooner and to grow to a stage where we can actually start even having discussions about proper waste management. Okay, well, that was the last question, unfortunately, to keep the timing up. And uh, thank you so much to have thank been with you. us. And uh, let's go to the next one.